Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic is going to be about what are the five biggest myths about estate planning. But before we dive into that, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate, and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So, the five biggest myths about estate planning. Oh boy, I'm so happy to jump into this and debunk all of them. So, number five. I don't need a will. My spouse has power of attorney over all my accounts. False. You want to know why? The power of attorney only works when you are alive. Once you die, your power of attorney dies with you. So guess what? Then your spouse has no control over everything. And if you don't have a will, then we go through administration. So, number five, debunked. Number four, if I die without a will, everything goes to the state of New Jersey. Well, this is false. Because even if you pass away without a will, the state of New Jersey has a set of laws called the Rules of Intestacy, which basically lay out an order of who can get your belongings. Now, if we tack that whole line out that is established by the statute, and it is pretty extensive, then the state takes over and will get everything. But they are not the first in line if you don't have a will. So don't panic if you don't have a will, but go get one. Number three, my will controls all of my assets. False. The will controls the assets that you have not uh, created a beneficiary designation on or your home. And let me explain this to you about your home and your beneficiary designation. So your beneficiary designations on your accounts, on checking accounts, savings accounts, uh, IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, investment accounts, you name it. Those beneficiary designations supersede the will and take all those assets out of the probate process because you specifically identified them to go to a specific individual. When it comes to your home, it's all going to be dependent on how the deed is written because if there is a uh, owner on the deed with you, and it's held as joint tenants or there are rights of survivorship, your co-owning owner will absorb your percentage of the property. That is how that works. So then your property is taken out of the probate process. So those are items that are out of the probate process that your will wouldn't control. Number two, and this is my all-time favorite one to debunk all the time, is the reading of the will. Now, we are all used to seeing movies where somebody passes away. Uh, I'm thinking of the movie Rat Race. I'm thinking of, oh, geez, there's so many of them to name, where everybody gets gathered in a room. They're in, their, in the lawyer's office for the person who passed away, and the lawyer takes out the will, and they start reading the contents of the will to everyone in that room. Wow, was that wrong. But historically accurate. Because if you go back in time, more people were illiter illiterate, and attorneys were the ones who were literate. So they were the ones who read the contents of the will to, those, to the individuals. So everybody knew what they were getting at that time. However, with the advent of photocopies, with the advent of email, and more people being literate, this is done away with because photocopies can be provided to people and you can read in the comfort of your own home, uh, what the contents of that will was. And usually also, uh, a person has said that the executor, here, I have an estate plan, it's over here, when I pass away, the will's in there, and it, you know what to do. So that's that, uh, debunked. But I love that one, let me tell you. That is a fan favorite of mine. And number one, the number one biggest myth about estate planning is wills avoid probate. If I had a dollar, because let me tell you, your will actually enters you in the probate. It does not avoid probate because probate, as defined, is an orderly transfer of assets from a deceased individual to a living individual. So your will does not avoid probate. 
Note of what's probate, beneficiary designations, deeds, um, gifting can avoid probate. Not something we recommend here at Campanile Law or that I would recommend, but those are the things. You know, your will enters you into probate, and if you don't have a will, you enter in what's called administration. So, those are the five biggest myths about estate planning. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please head on, head on over to YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and TikTok, at NJ Estate Attorney. Um, if you have any questions pertaining to this video or any other questions pertaining to estate planning or probate and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com to schedule the day and time that works best for you. As always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.